This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Good to see uh, Jason Wellborn back in front of me, uh, headlining, of course, against Felix Cash. Yeah, massive uh, opportunity. You've had loads of big fights in your career, Jason, but there's still something different about this match from Fight Camp. Yeah, it's something new. Obviously, coming out, obviously, we've all been in lockdown, in, um, and obviously, Eddie's gone out his way, and he's, you've put this amazing show on, obviously, so we can all perform. And uh, from my point of view, it was my stage of my career, I was thinking, what's out now? Obviously, I, he's in a position where he's got a match with the back on him and that. I've been like, after taking big fights and after the British and the world title fight, there I really been, I've had to just drop down away to get fights. So, middleweight, I'm comfortable at middleweight and um, I had a good role at middleweight. So, when this come up, it was, I snatched it with both hands and just got picked me up a little bit and it'd be nice to just see what I can do under my new train and everything and get back under that spotlight and crack on where I want again and um, I'd love another world title shot. You've been uh, the away fighter so many times, Lim Smith, uh, even the Langford fight, he was considered the B-side, um, of course, Jarrett Hurd, uh, Macklin, etc. So you come in away fighter again, but do you feel like this time it's a 50-50 here, Jason, even though people will see Felix as the favourite because he's the matron boy, home fighter, etc. Yeah, yeah, you could take that away from him. He's, he's, got, he's a champion. Uh, I'm coming to his back garden, obviously, and uh, it means nothing to me. I've, I've done it before, like it, I, with Marcus Morris, and he was a matchroom fighter. But then after that, nothing happened. So I was a bit. I, obviously, if something can, if I can open some eyes this fight, and Eddie can do something if the next couple of fights, and I can get what I can out of the career before I call it a day, because I've got, I've still got a lot left in me. So I want to see what bring, see what Friday brings, and uh, I've had a good camp and um, the best man I win and I'm confident and I've been in with this level before and I've dealt with this level before so um, it's just what happens on the night and I'm, I'm just want to enjoy enjoy back back enjoying the sport now. Yeah. What do you think about the setup? Obviously you had to do 16 hours in your room yesterday, we all had to do that and such a small place here, obviously Felix has just gone past you in the door, like it's a bit of a, a strange setup but probably a good one for a fighter on a fight week. At the end of the day, we're both, we're both professional boxers, we're both family men, we're both in it for the same game. So you, at the end of the day, boxing is a respectful man's game. And obviously we've all had to abide by the rules. Coming here yesterday, travelling up here, doing that, and then do, wait for the test and you're dieting and everything. In that room, it was just, it, it's hot, but it's what we've got to do to, uh, to obviously carry on with the show and everything. So I'm just enjoying it, just got to soak everything in there. When you were like alone in that room for so long, was it playing on your mind a little bit? Like, what if I come back positive? Well, like, it was only till about ten o'clock last night. I was thinking, bloody, what about if he comes back? Like, I ain't well. There's all this camp and everything. But uh, we had to knock the door at eight, eight o'clock this morning, so I got the band. So at least we can get out now and have a little bit of fresh air. And what he's put on here, we got the gym, we got the cardio. It's brilliant, like. So um, that's it. It'll soon be here. It would have been a perfect condition going into Friday night. How do you think the fight itself plays out? Um, Felix, what do you make of him so far? Haven't really seen him in a, in a huge test yet, Felix, but you can quite evidently see he's got a, a, a good skill set. Uh, how do you think the fight will go itself? He's a, he seems like one of one of what I didn't see much of him, obviously, until we heard his name mentioned. And um, First time I heard Felix was um, the bit when I won the British and there was talks of whether Eddie wanted to push him up forward then. But... Um, I think he's had a good pedigree, he's had a good amateur, but amateur and pros are different kettle of fish. So uh, he's come through his last fight. He, he he had a little bit of a 50-50 and he had a test. So at the end of the day, if they think they've got me here to give him a push, I've got to, I've got to just go and get that win. And that's what I've come for. I ain't nobody's stepping stone. You know what I mean? I never really have been. You know what I mean? So I've always trained hard and done what I've got to do. But he seems... He's, I think he's got that strength. He looks like he's got the power. Um, he looks a good. He looks a good athlete, and that's what I've got to train for, and that's what I'm getting in with. So we'll, we'll soon see. Do you feel like if it is a close fight that you're going to have to stop him, Jason, just because of the cards, possibly? Um, to be honest, you know, after the last few fights, and I've seen they get close, I do give it. But you know I mean that's the judges, and that's it. I'm, I'm here to do a job, whatever way I do it. If he comes, he comes. If he goes the distance, goes. But I've got to, I've got to, I've got to open eyes. I've got to put a good performance on. Jason, just a quick word on uh, last week as well uh, about Kane Baker. Just a really devastating blow for himself. Yeah, I can imagine him. I feel sorry for him being here, doing all these, and then you find out you're fighting. But you know what? 
things happen like this in life. It's just got to make him stronger. He's been straight back in the gym sparring. He's just got to keep on it. And I think he's mentally strong to get through it. So it's a little setback and he'll be back in there. And obviously, I think Matrim are going to get him out again. So he'll be back, he'll be back out. Yeah, Eddie said he wants to make that fight still with Akib Fiaz, which is probably a bigger fight now. Yeah, that's a bigger build-up, bit of a bit of a motion being thrown here and that. So Did you see the little clip of him right here last yeah, week. I seen some out of chocolate and that. Like, <laughs> so, uh, but like you say, at the end of the day, if he ain't well, Jamie, Jamie Moore knows he's a fighter. He, he know, if he's fighter a well, he knows. So I don't think, obviously, the right thing could have happened because uh, you don't want to be getting there and not feeling well. You know what I mean? All right, Jason Webber, well, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Uh, going into Friday night, have you got a last word, a final prediction? How's it go? Nah, at the end of the day, I just want that win. And uh, however way it comes, it comes, but a good performance. All right, top man, Jason, appreciate it. Thank you.